Good evening once again, ladies and gentlemen, and this long, grueling week comes to its conclusion. Final night of the 76th Annual Blue and Gold Tournament here at Hammond Student Center in JQH Arena. We are in the fifth place game. That's where the Ava Bears were last year when they took home a trophy. They'll try to do that again here tonight against a foe that they've seen just a few weeks ago in the Stratford Indians. Starting lineups coming your way. You're listening to Cause Radio, 92.1 FM, KKOZ.com, and watching on TDHmedia.net. Hi, folks. This is Jay Loveland of Jay Loveland Auto Sales, and I'd like to invite you all to our new setup in Mountain Grove. We have a great inventory of affordable cars, trucks, and SUVs, conveniently located right next to Walmart and Burger King. Find us also online at jlovelandautosales.com or 417-349-4444. And remember, at J. Loveland Auto Sales, we always do the right thing. Get a great deal on versatile Kubota equipment today, including Kubota LO1 Series compact tractor as part of our under 100 horsepower tractor lineup rated number one for reliability. Z-Series mowers and sidekick utility vehicles. Stop by your local Kubota dealer today. Right now, bring home select Kubota equipment for zero down, 0% APR for up to 84 months, plus they've got the 14 now through December 31st. See us or go to KubotaUSA.com for more details. Your local Kubota dealer, Edgler & Harper Farm Equipment. Two names you can trust, Edgler & Harper and Kubota. From tax help to payroll to counseling advice when it comes to dealing with your money, it's a conversation for Paul Wade & Associates. Offices in Ava, Paul Wade & Associates, your certified public accountants. Call us at 683-2319. 683-2319 for Paul Way and Associates. If you're looking for ways to save, we got discounts every day. Happy New Year from down to Country Supermarket in Ava, Missouri with freshly frozen chicken fryer breast fillets, two thirty nine per pound. Down in Country, Ava, Missouri, top round steak, four forty nine per pound, and the boneless Pork loin chops, two nineteen per pound. Town and country, Ava, Missouri. We got discounts every day. We are live here on the best radio in the Ozarks and TDHmedia.net. And the starting lineup for Stratford this evening, it's going to look a little different than what it did a couple of weeks ago when these two teams met in the finals of the Stratford Invitational, and it is a big loss for the Stratford Indians, A.K. Rael, who had 21 points in that championship game against Ava. That youngster has a knee injury. He is out, scheduled to have surgery here uh, very in the very near future. He's a junior. Hope to have him back next year, of course, back at full strength. Let's give you the starters here. First for Stratford, it will be Logan Fraker, Avery Boise, Seth Sodden, Deacon Lawler, and J.D. Hunt. And for the Ava Bears, it will be Ethan Donnelly, Corey Heinlein, Blaine Mendel, Carter Mahan, and Andrew Dalton. Bears and Indians, fifth place game of the Gold Division. We'll tip it off next. It's Five Girls in a Chainsaw, LLC, your locally owned tree trimming and removal service. Do you have limbs down in your yard from storm damage? Well, we can help. We're fully insured, and there's no job that's too large or small. Give Billy a call at 683-0704. It's Five Girls in a Chainsaw, and we sell firewood, too. 417-683-0704. Five Girls in a Chainsaw, LLC. At Rick's Roofing, we have expanded our business. We are now dozing for timber and other excavating work. Skid steer work some brush hogging, brush mulching, also helping you build your driveway, building houses or shop pads, backhoe work, septic work, and dump truck gravel hauling, free quotes. And, of course, we're still taking care of your roofing needs, too. 683-8081. That's 683-8081 for Rick's Roofing, LLC. Well, the best selection of appliances and home furnishings, it's long dollar furniture and a Appliances, great prices on top brands. Long dollar furniture appliance, whether it's your kitchen, laundry room, 
bedroom, living room, long dollar furniture and appliance, 683-3424. That's 683-3424, long dollar furniture and appliance. And up at 33. Again, these two teams just met a couple of weeks ago in the finals of the Stratford Tournament. Ava winning that 68-57. to Stratford and their white on white. And was just talking with Cooper Emmerich, who's running the ball game for us back at Cos Studios. He agrees. The Ava black on black. Uh, that's, that's my favorite look when Ava does the blackout uniforms. And so another opportunity here for Andrew Dalton, his final opportunity wearing the AVA uniform to put on a show here in Springfield. He scored 24, 24, and 30 this week. What does he have in store here for the finale? And Tip is controlled by the Bears, and Mendel will walk it across. Blaine had a little bit of foul trouble last night, and Dalton rises and fires just short off the front of the rim. And you got to wonder, when you get to this four-game and four-day scenario, how are the legs for both teams? What's the stamina at? And there's a foul on Stratford. No score yet, just underway with 737 on the clock. Inbounds goes to Heinlein. He had a great game last night, a great game against Stratford. A couple of three-pointers there when these two teams met earlier this season. Heinlein pass down to Mayhan. Carter goes up. Hall is partially blocked. Andrew Dalton gets it back, loses it going up to the rim. Now Donley has it, and he's reached in and fouled by the Indians. And the second team foul already here for Stratford. And in talking to Coach Damon Seeger last night after the ball game, and he just said, he said, because of our opponents and the game times this week, all of them late ones, it might be the most grueling blue and gold week that he's been a part of. And he's been coming to this tournament for a number of years now. And a missed shot. And Stratford, their first possession of the ball. We have played one minute here in the fifth place game of the gold division. Here's an outside three put up there by Satan, and it's no good, and a rebound by the Bears. David did such a good job team rebounding last night. Dalton pass over to Heinlein up top, now over to Ethan Donnelly. Back to Andrew, top of the circle. Andrew, he'll go right with it. Into the corner now, Donnelly, up top, Heinlein, pump fake, drives in, shot from the elbow, bounces around and will not fall. Rebound by Sodden. And he traveled with it, uncontested right there near half court, and Stratford will call a timeout. We'll take one, two, 626 in the opening quarter. No score, Ava Stratford. Hello, Bear fans. This is Garrett Chapman at Century Bank of the Ozarks. At Century Bank, we are a true community bank for your way of life. Since 1894, Century Bank of the Ozarks has maintained its reputation of friendly service and quick local decision-making. Stop in and let our friendly staff introduce you to our outstanding banking products and services. Banking decisions made at the local level right here at home. That's Century Bank of the Ozarks, member FDIC, equal housing lender. Abel will have the ball after that turnover. No score yet here in this contest. And again, you just wonder how much energy do these teams have Coming into the game, Stratford was the fourth seed in the gold bracket, Ava the three seed. So fifth place game, not where either of these teams wanted to be. They wanted to be, of course, playing for the championship or third place. But a couple losses there in that second round of the bracket, and now we've got a travel called on Ava that will give the ball back the other way. Trafford got beat in the 4-5 game on Tuesday night to Greenwood. And Ava losing Tuesday night against Republic. Trafford beating Central last night. Ava a victory over Rogersville to get here. Turnaround shot in the post. No good. And rebound by Andrew Dalton. He'll bring it up himself across the timeline. Dribbles left. Now over here at the left wing to Heinlein. Bounce pass to Donnelly. Around the baseline. Now dribbles back. Around the perimeter towards the right wing. Back up top with it, Donnelly. Right side, Heinlein. Back up top, Donnelly. 
Ava looking down low there for May hands off, but nothing open at the moment. And we've got a whistle and a hold down low. And that will be the third team foul here already on Stratford. Blaine Mendel inbound. Under his own goal. And checking in will be Jacob Simple for the Indians. And down to Mayhan. Coach Seeger is wandering. Last night said, I hope we have enough left. Completes a week. Dalton a shot, no good, but a blocking foul called. And that is the fourth foul on Stratford. I know Cooper Tyson and I are fatigued, and we're just talking and about the action. Ought to be young again. 16 to 18 years old, playing four games in four days. Against quality competition up here in Springfield. First free throw by Dalton is in. And with 5-12 in the first quarter, we have broken the scoreless tie. Decent crowd in here tonight for the fifth place game. Fairgrove and Willard in the blue division fifth place game just finishing prior to us. And you see some of the purple sticking around in the gym. Willard winning that one, by the way. 2-0 to score. Ava over Stratford. Stratford with the basketball here. Here's Spraker over left side, Sodden. He'll drive inside and a blocking foul. Mendel was just a little bit late maybe on the slide there. Coach Seeger asking for a clarification. Who was it on? It is on Mendel, his first. And an and one possibility here for Seth Sutton. And he completes it. Stratford leads 3 2. Hey, with the basketball under five minutes to play. By the way, a lot of good basketball in Kabul earlier today. Gainesville took the fifth place trophy there. It was Mansfield, kind of the upset there, winning third place. And then Thayer put it on Norwood in the fourth quarter win the championship, and Dalton, top of the circle, knocks down to three with a hand in his face. Ava leads 5-3. Strapper back on the attack. Of course, Ava in the man-to-man defense. You won't see Ava go to his own very much. Lock pass down low to the big post, Elliot Goings. And Goings is fouled. And it's going to be charged to Ethan Donnelly, I believe, with a hold. And an inbound, quick score there for the inbound, and timeout Bears. We'll take one, two, here in the first quarter, 411 left, Ava 5, Stratford 5. It's A1 Detailing Enterprises, offering complete details, interior, exterior, headlight restoration, vinyl removal, and shampooing. The next generation car care, A1 Detailing Enterprises. Wyatt Gastonu a call, 417-543-8739. That's 417-543-8739. And let him and the A1 Detailing Enterprise take care of you. We are glad you're with us here. It's been an early week for the girls' games and late at night for the boys' games for Ava basketball this week. And we've got a nice little week-plus break before Ava and Mansfield meet up on the 7th. And, boy, Mansfield, Coach Seeger and I were talking about this earlier. Boy, around our neck of the woods, they're one of the hottest teams around right now. It's the run they've made in the Kabul tournament. Coach Shelton's got his team rolling. That's who Ava will see when we come back in 2022. I think that's January 7th. Dalton in trouble and almost throws it to Soden. Sudden, I believe. Now Mendel with it, looking down low for Mayhan, and Carter not ready for it. And it's a turnover out of bounds. Soden's got three points for the Indians. Simple with two. Five five. Where we're at. Both teams coming out with lots of offense when these two teams met in Stratford. 
Your fourth game in four days. Got a lot of tired legs out there. Three-pointer, and it is up and in. And I've got to write this young... It is Cody Boise. Uh, he's not wearing the jersey of what they called him as, and he didn't even play the last game. There's Dalton. Turns around and faces on the baseline, makes that. Trafford eight, Ava seven. Boise over to left side. The Fraker out of Soden. Backing up Ethan Donnelly. Turn around, hook shot, up and in. Seth Soden. 10 to 7 now. Connor Nelson. And throw, shot up, no good. Turn around by Soden and lost it. Strafford with the basketball. Indians playing without A.K. Rao. One of their star players. And Coach Ryerson has to be happy with the effort right now. Breaker with it. Dribbles over to the right side. Now gets the screen. Lob pass down low. Dalton knocked it away. Back to Strafford. Boise. Step back. Mendel in his face. And a turnover. Pass thrown between the legs there of Strafford. Ava coming with it. The other way. Subs coming in now. J.D. Hunt back on the floor. And I've got a correction. I was told that, uh, thank you, Mr. Jesse Boyd, I was told that Mark Mansfield beat Alton earlier in the third place game, but and I, that surprised me because Alton stayed ranked. I'm being told that Alton ended up winning that third place game there at Kabul. Nelson, a shot in the left block, no good. Here comes Trafford the other way with it. Boise directing the traffic, pass over to Soden. Back to Boise, back to Soden here on the right wing. Ava, slow start here offensively. Andrew Dalton with all seven points for the Bears. And as we've seen this week, when the other guys get involved, obviously, equals a much more successful Ava team. Foul now on Connor Nelson. That'll be the third team foul on the Ava Bears. And Spencer Seeger in. And Mendel will get a rest. Donnelly, Nelson, Seeger, Heinlein, Dalton, your five Bears on the floor. Andrew got a little bit of a breather last night. Don't know if he'll get one this evening. Wait, this one's going right now. Going over to Soden. He's taking on a lot of the scoring bulk there. He's seen it last night against the Central game, and there's a traveling call on the Indians. Abel will have it the other way. So, Talked about it a lot here, but it is a definite factor in the game. You're going to see some tired legs. You're going to see a lot more reaching in, some fouling, and some traveling. Hard to keep it very sharp and focused. Four games in four days. It is a marathon. That includes the broadcasters saying that sharp. There's a bump foul by Voicey. And that is his first, and checking in will be Jacob Simple. Abel inbound on the far side, about 40 feet from the basket. Inbound goes to Seeger. Seeger comes over to the left side, over to the left wing, Donnelly. Ethan, he'll go baseline. He's cut off. Finds Dalton. Dalton has Simple on him. Andrew will put it on the floor right, passes up. The Seeger. Trafford fans loving the defense here. 40 seconds left, opening quarter. Nelson, bounce pass, and he is fouled, knocked down. And that is the second foul on Cody Boise. Sixth team foul. And number 31, Isaac Berg in. Berg, another guy that I don't believe seen any minutes. The title game of the Stratford Tournament a few weeks ago. Heinlein gets the inbound. He'll try to attack. Pulls up. Knocks the shot down and gets fouled. And Heinlein gets in the scoring column. Nice move off the dribble. Pulled up from about 10 feet. Knocked it down. Got fouled. And he'll try to tie it up now. With 32 seconds left. And he does. 
10-10. Our score and under 30 seconds to play. In quarter number one. Breaker with it. He's just dribbling around. Not looking to attack or anything as they run the clock down here for the final possession of the opening quarter. 10 to 10. In the corner, Hunt for three, and he got it. J.D. Hunt. One second left. Donnelly from half court, no good. And Trapper takes the lead after quarter number one. It's the Indian 13, your Ava Bears tip. Missouri Ozarks Community Health is open with regular hours at our clinic found in Ava and Gainesville, in Mansfield, Mountain Grove, Kabul, and Houston. Missouri Ozarks Community Health providing primary medical care, behavioral health care, and yes, Missouri Ozarks Community Health provides emergency and urgent dental care. So call us at 683-5739, 683-5739 to schedule an appointment at Missouri Ozarks Community Health in Ava, Gainesville, Mansfield, Mountain Grove, Kabul, and in Houston. Always have been and always will be Big Ava Bear Sports fans at Crystal Lake Fisheries. Like the proud tradition of Ava Athletics, we're proud of our history too. Established in 1951, and there are now five generations of fish feeders in the Emerson family. From all of us here at Crystal Lake Fisheries, good luck to the Ava Bears. Well, championship game of the Stratford Tournament at the end of quarter number one. It was Ava 20, Stratford 8. And this has been a much different start. Ava a little slow offensively in Stratford. Grinding out 13 points there, have the lead. And Coach Ryerson's got to be pumped up. Again, a little shorthanded without A.K. Rael. Now they've started this game. Hunt over to Soden. Soden, he'll drive. Penetration cut off the baseline. Now trying to use his size and frame to back down Donnelly. Now back out on the wing. He'll go to attack again. Lost the handle on it. Heinlein couldn't get to it in time. Cutter inside. Seeger got a little bit of a block, I believe. And Dalton has it. Now lost it to Hunt. Andrew thought he was harassed there. Crossing the timeline. And Trafford will reset the offense. Breaker to Soden. Soden in the high post. Back to Fraker. Little pick and roll game. Pass over to the right side now. And simple. Back to Fraker. Down the post for Soden. Backing down high line, turnaround shot, no good, but he's fouled. And we'll go to the free throw line here for a couple. And I think the foul's going to be on Dalton. And the stand corrected, foul goes to high line. His first, fourth team foul on the Bears. Loading to the line, 4-2, and makes the first. He's got six points. And knocked them both down. 15 to 10. Ava quickly crosses the timeline here. Seeger back up top, Donnelly. Right side, Nelson. Throw it inside to Dalton, and he is fouled. Andrew trying to get position down low there to post up Simple. And Simple, a lot of hand fighting going on there. And so it'll be a one on one free throw shooting situation. Here for the Bears and Andrew Dalton. Dalton, seven of the ten Bear points. And makes the first. 15 to 11. Much, much different start to this one as opposed to the game played back in Stratford a few weeks ago. And got them both. 15 to 12. I say a few weeks ago, that was actually the first weekend of December. Time of flying in the basketball season, and Connor Nelson's going to be called for a foul on holding simple. Blaine Mendel comes on the floor. Nelson's got two fouls. Soden inbound under his own goal. 
Oh, they had the play set up with Hunt, but didn't catch the pass clean. Challenges Seeger. Spencer, good defense, but we don't get the board. Simple, a three, no good. Andrew tips it to Mendel. Mendel bumps, comes out of the pile with it. Now trying to get something going in transition. Fine timeline. Over to Seeger on the wing. Spencer will drive, hand it off to Donnelly. Bounce back. To Dalton, backing his man down. Turn around, fade away, Jay, and miss. Trafford coming the other end with it. Quickly in the corner to Breaker. Breaker curls towards the center. Out on the corner now to Berg. Up top, Hunt. Trafford will reset the offense. You can just tell right now I coach Seeger's posture. Not very pleased with the start in this game for the Bears. Top turnaround shot to right seven. And it's 17 to 12. Trafford controlling the pace here. And the first half to this point. 5.37 on the clock, second quarter. Ethan Donnelly spots up, shoots for three, no good. And Blaine Mendel gets an extra chance opportunity for the Bears. Blaine looking inside for Dalton. Double team immediately comes on the block. Good pass to a wide open Heinlein. And Swift, City, Corey Heinlein. 17-15. Heinlein doesn't take a lot of threes. Shoots a decent percentage when he does pull the trigger. Soden tries to back down Dalton, pass to Hunt underneath the basket, and we've got a whistle and a foul. And it's going to go on either Mendel or Seeger, I believe. Starts to number Spencer Seeger. And it's on Spencer Seeger. His first. Hunt to the line for two. JD's got a three point bucket in the game. And his first free throw up and in. Elliot Going comes back in, as does Carter Mahan and Connor Nelson. Mahan, Nelson, Mendel, Dalton, and Heinlein. Five Bears on the floor. Got them both. 19 to 15. Mendel gets into the front court. Again, if you're just joining us, we're here in midway through the second quarter. Fifth place game with a gold division. Avon Strafford and Strafford short-handed, but having a much better start against Ava this go-around. Goes to the basket of Dalton, and offensive foul is called. They say Soden was set up for the charge. And it is Andrew's first personal. Seventh team foul on Ava. And here comes Trafford. Chance to extend the lead. And the corner Soden with it. Up top Hunt. Right side Fraker. High low they try it, but Ava knocks it away. Dalton trying to see the floor, see if there's anybody open. He'll take it himself here up the left side. Hesitation move. Nice quick move to the basket. And somebody reached in for the foul there. The two officials here up top both laughing. They both blew the whistle at the same time. Who gets the foul? It's Hunt his first, and that is in the active shooting, they say. So two free throws coming for Andrew makes the first. Nineteen to sixteen. Andrew already in double figures, and he makes both of them. Stafford's coming in. Boise back in for the Indians. And Spencer Seeger will check back in. The coach Armstrong, Coach Seeger there, kind of substituting when Stratford goes small, Ava goes small. Playing the size matchups here. Now you got Dalton guarding Soden. Hunt over the right wing. Nelson guarding him. Hunt pass up top to Boise. Soden wants to set him a screen. He goes the other way. Passing out the wing to Soden. 
Over to Voicy. He rotates over to the top. Right side. Breaker with it now. Along the three-point line. Quick passing along the perimeter by the Indians. Breaker. Now he'll go to attack. Mendel has ran over. Offensive foul. And Blaine set in time on that occasion. It'll be a first on Breaker. Trafford's committed a lot of fouls, but nobody in foul trouble yet. They've got to spread it out amongst the eight different kids they've played here in the first half. There you see when Strafford brings on a big man, Ava brings on Carter Mahan. Goings on the floor for the Indians. Mahan comes in for the Bears. Playing the matchups here. Lob it into the free throw line at the elbow as Dalton steps back, takes a tough shot, and knocks it down. Andrew cooking in the first half. He's got 13, and it's 19-19 now. We're tied up. Soden from deep, deep. Hits it off the glass. No good. Two-on-one fast break. Heinlein to Dalton. Andrew leaves it up and in. Defense turning to offense. And Ava on a little bit of a run here. 6-0 run to take the lead by two. Came out just a little flat in this game. Starting to get it going here in the final minutes of the second quarter. Soden over to Hunt. That's Hunt at screen. Dribbles over the right side. Look for a cutter inside Fraker. Now back out on the corner. Simple. Up at no man's land. Up in the air. And Dalton has a breakaway. Highlight coming. No. He couldn't get his feet under it. Here's the highlight. Here's the layup. Watch the young man throw it down in the warm-ups. And I'm so mad because I was trying to take a picture of it, and it didn't work. Getting some snaps there for the KKOZ Facebook page. Follow us on the old KKOZ Facebook page, by the way. Shameless plug. Three-pointer from Stratford, no good, and it's out of bounds, and Ava will have it. Ava in the midst of an 8-0 run right now, leading 23-19. to I thought we were about to see Andrew, two hands, slam a jamma, throw it down. But the pass so far out in front, didn't really get a run at the rim. Finally gathered it below the rim and just wisely laid it up and in. Pass into the corner. Ethan Donnelly spot up three. Oh, that would have been nice. No good, though. Rebounded by the Indians. Here Stratford comes the other way with it. In the corner for Hunt. Hunt goes baseline, cut off by Donnelly. Now dribbles around towards the center. Breaker with it in the opposite corner. Gets the screen, pops the three-pointer, air ball. And out of bounds. And they are going to say that what? Mendel was pushed. And fouled, going for the rebound. Coming the other way with it. Blaine in the double bonus, so he will get to shoot two. Yet to score in the ball game this evening. Change it right here. Free throw up and got it to go. Twenty-four nineteen. In the midst of a 9-0 run. And gets the friendly roll. The 10-0 run here. At the end of the second quarter, big, big difference in the game. Ava up six, their largest lead of the game. Spencer Seeger will check in. Inbounds goes to Fraker. Strafford crosses the timeline. Over in the right corner here, and Mendel just about got a steal, and he did. Throws it into Dalton. Andrew drives inside, and the ball knocked out of bounds and away by Braden Willard. They just keep finding guys to plug in this game off the bench for the Indians. Jones will check in. And Carter Mayhem. As soon as Goings goes in, Mayhem. Immediately hops off the bench because he knows he's coming in. Mendel 
Out past there, it's Alton. Andrew has it in the corner. Back to Blaine. Blaine and Andrew, those two guys are in sync so much. Been playing together for four years now. They know what the other's thinking. Mendel's shot, no good. Heinlein fighting for a loose ball, and it's coming the other way with Strafford. 44.6 seconds left before the halftime break. Mom Bureau Insurance, John Irby, halftime show. We'll get you caught up on as many scores as we can from tournament action today in Springfield and in Kabul. Bowden, wide open breaker on the wing for three, in and out, and a rebound, Ethan Donnelly. 30 seconds left, and Ava will hold for one. Andrew over to Blaine, and we'll see how the Bears attack it here. 22 seconds left in the second quarter. Blaine goes over to the right side. Now he's going to hand it off to Seeger, a little weave action there. Nine seconds left. Seeger back to Mendel. Five seconds now. Blaine, some dribble moves. Trying to attack inside. Tough shot. A Donnelly the tip, but no at the buzzer. And we'll go to the locker room. It's your Ava Bears 25, Trafford 19. It's Miller Lawn Service in Ava. They can take care of your commercial and residential needs from mowing your grass to trimming the hedges and more. Our fast, reliable, and experienced team can help your lawn look its best. Call Doug today at 543-2294. That's 543-2294 for Miller Lawn Service. And let us take care of your lawn. Hey, this is Cody with Cash Gas Company. We would like to thank all of our wonderful customers for letting us serve the Ava area over the last 40 years. We look forward to serving the Ava area for another 40 years as Ava's only locally owned and operated propane company. Give us a call today at 683-2297 for all your propane needs. That's 683-2297 for Cash Gas Company. And good luck to the Ava Bears. At Signal, we strive to provide the lowest prices on gasoline diesel. We're also the home of ethanol-free premium fuel. Stop in today at your local hometown Signal Food Store and get your Signal Rewards card. Start earning points on your fuel, coffee, and other purchases. Signal Food Store is proud to be a supporter of local athletics. Do you have new construction or remodeling needs? Reese Construction can take care of you. We're family-owned, operated, and insured. You can check us out on Facebook at Reeds Construction, LLC. If you have questions about our services or would like an estimate, give us a call at 417-543-2063. Again, that's 417-543-2063. Don't get framed by the competition. Trust our reputation. It's as solid as concrete. Hello, Ava Bear. Saying goodbye to a loved one. You wanted to be sure that wrapped in care, and provide comfort to those who remain. I'm Tony Clinking Bear Van Dyne, and at Clinking Bear Funeral Home, we've been helping those we know and love say goodbye with honor and dignity for over 100 years. We are here to serve you and your family. Hey, guys, this is Trish Waterston with Show Me Real Estate. And if you are thinking of selling your place, now is a good time as any. We pride ourselves on how we market our property, whether it's a farm, land, residential, in-town, or commercial building. We use a variety of tools to bring awareness to potential buyers of the property that you want to sell. Visit either Show Me Real Estate location Monday through Friday or on Saturday mornings, and someone will be there to assist you. That's Show Me Real Estate, serving the entire Southwest Missouri area. There is no off season anymore in the housing market. We'll be ringing in 2022 in like three different places going on. Busy, busy time of the year there at the Show Me Real Estate office. You can be on the lookout for our Show Me Facebook page this weekend to see some new listings if you've been out there uh, hunting. Halftime here. This is your Farm Bureau Insurance Agent Sean Irby Halftime Report. And what a close to the second quarter there for the Ava Bears. A 10-0 run. The final four minutes of that second quarter, Andrew Dalton, his final high school performance in the Blue and Gold Tournament, and he's trying to go out with a bang. 17 points here in the first half. 
Corey Heinlein has six. Blaine Mendel, two. That's the scoring for the Bears. For Stratford, they've got Seth Soden with nine. J.D. Hunt with five. Simple with two. Led after the first quarter, 13-10. to 10, But then Ava winning the second quarter there, 15-6. to 6. That gives us our score here, 25-19 at the half. You're listening to Cos Radio, best radio in the Ozarks, and also watching at tdhmedia.net. You want your kid to succeed as an Ava Bear athlete. Well, the best way to start is with unconditional love and support for your kids. Framework, empowering your children with safe boundaries and expressing clear expectations just like the coaches. And you start it when they're young. A message from Douglas County Chart and the Interagency Council. Has your home been a victim of storm damage? Call Pyramid Roofing Company for free estimates. 417-943-4011. Re-roof, roof repairs, new roof, skylights, shingles, gutters and downspouts, ventilation, and more. When bad storms leave damage to your home, Think Pyramid Roofing Company, 417-943-4011. A Merry Christmas to everyone and a Happy New Year. Coming from the Healthcare Enrollment Center at Terran Insurance Agency. They are located at 306 East Lincoln Avenue, Suite 1 in Ava. Their phone number is 417-683-1035. It's Five Girls in a Chainsaw, LLC. Your locally owned tree trimming and removal service. Do you have limbs down in your yard from storm damage? Well, we can help. We're fully insured and there is no job that's too large or small. Give Billy a call at 683-0704. It's five girls in a chainsaw and we sell firewood too. 417-683-0704. Five girls in a chainsaw, LLC. Always have been and always will be Big Ava Bear sports fans at Crystal Lake Fisheries. Like the proud tradition of Ava Athletics, we're proud of our history too. Established in 1951, and there are now five generations of fish feeders in the Emerson family. From all of us here at Crystal Lake Fisheries, good luck to the Ava Bears. Hi, this is Colton Hall, loan officer for Home Pride Bank. Are you looking for a better banking experience? Ever consider a bank that's been putting their customers first since 1892? Our history is rooted in commitment to both our customers and the communities we serve. We are open Monday through Friday, 8.30 to 4.30, and on Saturday, 8.30 to noon. We also offer mobile banking for those who like managing finances on their own time. Stop in or call us at 417-683-3211 and discover what better banking is all about. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Happy holidays from Ava Elementary School. Farm Bureau Insurance Halftime Report. Ava leading 25-19. Been a bunch of basketball this week here uh, all around the area. Of course, you got the Blue and Gold Tournament going on. Ava trying to finish up three wins in four days and take home the fifth place tournament trophy. And at the Bull this weekend, you had Gainesville winning the fifth place game, had Alton beating Mansfield in the third place game, and then Thayer pulling away from Norwood late. Norwood actually led by a point at halftime. That's a matchup of two state ranked teams right there, number one in the state uh, rankings there in class two and class three. Too much there in the second half, though. Thayer ends up winning 70 to 53. So impressive there. And Dr. Gary Green, got to give him a shout-out. His Nashville Lady Lions winning the Mountain Grove Panther Lady Invitational. So good old Gary. He's got to be one happy customer this evening. Congratulations there to Mansfield. Ava and Mansfield, when we get back in the swing of things in 2022, uh, Cooper telling me there on January 6th, I believe it's the Ava girls taking on the Mansfield girls. And then the next night, it'll be the Ava boys against the Mansfield boys. So... Towns of Ava and Mansfield going to lock some horns there early in 2022 once we get back to basketball play. Our third quarter 
Up next, you've been listening to Farm Bureau Insurance, John Herbie, Halftime Report. A belief by six, 25, 19. At MS Propane, we're trying to save our customers as much money as we possibly can. And if you paid more than $1.50 per gallon last winter, then you might have paid too much. Call our AVA office today at 683-5300 to compare and see how much money you can save with MS Propane on our Build a Budget program. That's 683-5300 for MS Propane. Heating the way. It's Jim's Body Shop of Ava. The name you know and the people you can trust when it comes to auto body repair services. Have you locked your keys in the car? Or maybe you need a tow? Well, we've got you covered anytime, day or night. Give us a call at 683-4609. It's Jim's Body Shop of Ava. We're there when you need us. And we're proud to support the Ava Bears. For all your home remodel needs, there's only one place to go in Cos Country. The local people you know and trust, Mansfield Home Center, Ava Building Supply. Offering a huge selection of interior and exterior paints, plumbing, heating, electrical supplies, power tools, and much, much more. Open Monday through Friday, 7.30 in the morning till 5 in the afternoon, and on Saturday from 8 a.m. to noon. Ava Building Supply, rooting on our Ava Bears. Ava, a 10-0 run in the last four minutes of the second to give them the six-point lead because, most, quite frankly, Trafford led most of that first half until the last couple of minutes when Ava took the lead, got some steals and some easy layups from Andrew. And people that were here at the game right now, like Coach Garrett Beer, the football team, asking me, hey, how many Andrew got there? And of course, we're always unofficial with our KKOV scorebook, but uh, 17 is what I got them down for. 25-19, Ava with the ball first. We switch into the floor. Middle at the right wing, free throw line. Tried a little high-low game there to Mayhan, and ouch. Threw it like a missile off the thigh of Boise. Woo! Inbounds to Heinlein. Dalton, no hesitation on the three. May have been partially blocked. And it's out of bounds on the Bears. And Coach Seeger wondering, did somebody tip it? Did somebody nick it? Coach Seeger's got his hands on his knees, bent over, saying somebody had to see a Stratford Indian tip that. And now we're having a little... Bench warning, perhaps? Coach Seeger been slacking. That may just be his first one of the season. Get a little TDH media replay here. I think what they're going to say is Mayhan's foot was on the baseline out of bounds when he tried to catch that and throw it off to the Stratford defender. Coach Seeger gets his money worth there. And Strafford with the basketball. 7.30 on the clock. Soden, tough shot there. Great defense from Corey Heinlein. Put them to work on that end of the floor there on Soden, who got off to a great start, had nine points through the first ten minutes of this contest. Didn't score any of the last final six minutes of the second quarter. Dalton will attack, step back, now goes up and under off the glass. Dalton bank is open. Here on this Thursday night. This Thursday, what we're on quickly. Avery Boise the other way. And it's 27 21. Talking with the Stratford coach there, Tyler Ryerson. He said, It's Thursday, what we're on. I can't remember what day. It's been that kind of a week here at Springfield, especially when you're on the bottom side of the bracket in these late night games. Ethan Donnelly, strong take, knocked to the ground and puts it in off the glass. and the offense picking up here for both teams, and Soden, too much of a shuffle step there when he caught the pass to shoot a three. And Heinlein will inbound right in front of us here, 6.31 on the clock, 
Mendel will walk it across the timeline. I'd be walking to the fourth game in four days. Mendel dribbles over to the right side. Now pull it back out. Hind line back to Mendel. High post for Dalton. Little give and go to Mendel, and they're going to say Blaine traveled with it now. Again, told you there at the start, you got both teams battling fatigue right now. Who's got the most energy? Who's got the most left in the tank? That's probably going to decide this one. Ava has dating back to the second quarter. They are on a 14 to two run. Stafford to pull it back out here, reset the offense. They had a lob pass is knocked away. Andrew is pointing the other way with it. Well, we don't get it. Go see. <laughs> it's been a long week. Here's Lawler in the game. Didn't see him very much because he got in foul trouble early. And we got a foul and free throws coming here for Fraker. And they're going to give the foul to Heinlein. His second. And Fraker, no points in the ball game. It's up and in. One more coming. Got it. 29-23. Hind line with it, left wing. Now he'll drive, goes baseline, and gets a little finger roll to go. Took a hard bounce off the deck, and Coach Seeger, he's having to bite his tongue. He was wanting the end one there. That's two times the Bears have taken it down. Donnelly one high line there. Or he get the bucket to go, get knocked to the floor, but the whistle stay in the mouth. Bowden, high post, looking down low. Good defense, denying the post-entry pass by Mayhem. Boise knocks down Mendel. Pass in the corner. Hunt for three. Left it well short, Dalton the rebound. Andrew, two on two. Pulls up from 10 feet, in and out. And a rebound goes to Stratford, and they're going to get Carter Mahan for a foul. Pulling down the arm of Lawler. And he was fighting for position for that rebound. Mendel off, Connor Nelson on. 4.47 left in the third. It's 31-23. Breaker brings it across the timeline. Even the man-to-man defense. Double high post look here with Lawler and Soden. Back to Fraker left wing. Highline guarding him. Look at his eyes locked in to Fraker. Lobbed down low to Lawler, and he makes it. He's fouled, and he goes to the free throw line. Four and one. Lawler's first basket of the game. Free throw off to the right. Andrew gets the rebound. Up ahead to Ethan Donnelly. Three team fouls called on the Bears. None on Stratford here so far. Dalton, the hind line to Donnelly. Back to a six-point lead for Ava. Where we started the third quarter at. Andrew trying to back down Hunt. Double team comes, spins left, shot is wide, and we've got a push, and it's on the Bears. Foul shot to the thirty. It's going to be on Carter Mahan, his second or third, excuse me, fourth team foul. Stratford crawling back in it now. Boise. Pass over the right side, Fraker in the corner. Boise for three, in and out. Looked like it was going to fall. And back in the day, chance of hallelujah would have rang through the gym. And Stratford called for their first foul here in the third quarter. Back in the superfan days. 
Donley. He'll cross the timeline. Ava needs a bucket here. Trapper gets more confidence. You can tell it. Andrew spins. He double team trapped to Seeger to Nelson. Back up top, Andrew fakes the three, puts it on the deck, and blocking foul called. <laughs> Coach Seeger would have canceled New Year's if that would have been an offensive foul. <laughs> Elliot going, big number 41 on. So Mayhem in foul trouble. They bring Goings in to have a little size mismatch now. Height advantage goes to Strafford. Donnelly, a little running hook shot, no good. And they're going to say Soden push Dalton in the back. Foul charge. Foul charge. Strafford, number 23. So the non and chewing on the ears by Coach Seeger on the officials starting to pay off here. That's three team fouls now, quickly, against Trafford. Dalton pump fake, now shoots and scores. Andrew with 21, and we got three minutes and change in the third quarter. Left side here, Fraker. Up top, Boise. Over to Soden. He's been quiet since a dominant first quarter. Boise. Crossover move. Good job by Seeger. Moving the feet, keeping him in front. Soden for three and airballs it. Boise throws it from back in. Highline lost his shoe. Oh my. Knocked up in the air. Dalton fighting for it. Boy, these guys are gassed right now. Corey Heinlein is continuing to play with no shoe. Ava's got it and a foul on Goings and get that man his shoe. Wow, sorry. <laughs> Able to survive probably what felt like an eternity there for him. With no protection on the left, the right foot. They're going to hold up the play so Corey can get it back on right now. When Boise, Corey was trying to beat the defense down the other end. And then when Boise, athletic acrobatic move by him, saved it from going out of bounds. And Heinlein, he, he turned around, planted the other way, and that shoe flew up in the air. Never seen anything like it. 33-25. Seeger over to Heinlein. They got a little quarter-court trap, and it works. Turnover Bears. Soden coming for the Indians. Long pass in the corner for Fraker. And Seeger trying to go get it. He's racing Boise down. And it is out of bounds. And are they going to call the foul on Seeger or on Strafford there? Foul, charge. foul, <laughs> foul is on Cody Boise. And you just see Coach Seeger snap his head around. Who's that foul on? <laughs> Strafford faithful. It is obvious they do not agree. I tell you what, we've just had some dandy luck this week of being uh, positioned wherever gym we're at, whether it's been the girls' game at the pink and white, boys' game here at JQH or Hammond Student Center. Got the opposing fans right behind us each time. I'll have to do better with my logistics next year. Seeger over to Nelson. Connor back over to Seeger. Seeger's got a... Quick pass to Corey Heinlein. Seeger set that one up. Had a step on Goings going baseline. And help defense came, and he made a great pass to Heinlein for the easy bucket. Ava up 10. Boise, a shot off the glass. It is good, and a blocking foul called. And that was a... Back foul there committed by the Bears. Boise to the foul line. And Nelson there. Boy, if he'll just hang in top, he probably gets the offensive foul call. Got to be able to embrace that contact. And makes the three-point play. 35-28. We got 90 seconds left here in the third quarter. 
Seeger over to Donnelly, over to Nelson. Nelson drives to the left, finds Dalton. Andrew at the left wing, thought about the three, over to Seeger. Seeger goes right, little hesitation move, and out of bounds as Strafford tried to pick his pocket but stepped out of bounds. 106 on the clock. It's Braver, the Blaine Mendel back on for Nelson. Ava so far leading the third quarter 10 to 9. They've grown the lead from one at halftime. Inbounds to Dalton. Andrew, count the basket. And the foul. Great inbounds pass from Mendel to Dalton. How many times have we said that in four years? Watching those two guys create magic together on the basketball floor. Completes the three-point play. Andrew sitting at 24 points. And we've still got a minute and a whole other quarter left. Kind of had the feeling whatever he had left, it was going to be all left out of here and was going to try to put on a show in his final blue and gold game. Dalton now playing defense. Good contest of simple. Gets the rebound. Andrew gets it over to Mendel. And with 40 seconds left, Coach Seeger calling out the play. One shot coming. So that's what's on the menu anyway. See if the Bears can execute. Einline to Mendel. Thought about the three. Pulls it down. 25 seconds left. Seeger left side. Over to Heinlein. The Dalton. 15 seconds on the clock. Ava milking it right now. Trying to play for one. 10 seconds. Mendel back to Dalton. Andrew, hesitation move. He pulls up, deep two-pointer, no good. Rebound Strafford. They get it off in time, and it sails over the backboard. We played three quarters. It's your Ava Bears, 38, Strafford, 28. Hi, Wes Davis, NMLS number 1975714. What does the farm mean to you? Maybe it means a weekend getaway for camping or hunting, or it's life as a farmer. Maybe you want to build a dream home with a view. No matter what the farm means to you, Town & Country Bank can make it happen. With the best rates and terms on land and mortgage loans, smart, friendly solutions. Town & Country Bank, member FDIC, equal housing lender. The Edge of Technologies at Emerson Climate Technologies of Ava. Our students at the edge of a new life. Emerson Climate Technology, saluting our young people in their athletic competitions and reminding them, when you finish with your career, come to work for us on the edge of technology at Avis Emerson Climate Technologies. We're finishing up 2021. What a sports year it's been for Ava Athletics. You go back there in the spring, Ava Baseball playing for a district championship. Football making it to the state quarterfinals and basketball. They played in the state sectional game earlier in 2021, and right now it's a 10 1 record. Going ahead into 2022 with a lot of momentum. And when you think of New Year, bids for bargains. Cause Radio's long running promotion there that we have going on, and it'll be starting here in about a month. Businesses from all over our area participating, and we will auction off merchandise from food to show tickets and so much more. Be on the lookout for that. That'll be on Friday and Saturday mornings starting in the near future. KKOV.com and KKOV's Facebook and Cause News give you a lot of information about that coming up. Way to save yourself a lot of money with a lot of good stuff. Strafford with it to begin the quarter. Soden going to work on Dalton, and he is denied. And coming the other way with it now are the Ava Bears, leading by 10. Seeger will attack. Nice no-look dish down low. Turnaround shot, no good. Dalton skies for the board. Turnaround in. Andrew Dalton. I've got him with 26. And it's 40 to 28, largest lead here for the Ava Bears. Bowden in the corner for Fraker. 
Back up top, Boise. Boise dribbling over the left side. Hunt steps into a three. Off to the left, offensive rebound, Indians. Work it around, Boise takes the three and knocks it down. Cody hesitated, didn't pull the trigger at first, and then fired away. Knocked it down. 40 to 31. Our great Southern Bank postgame show, by the way, we will talk to head coach Damon Seeger after the game. Dalton was contested. A lot of contact there, no call. Ball out of bounds, and they will keep it. Coach Seeger calling out the play, talking to his team. Mendel, bounce pass to Donnelly, to Andrew, free throw line, goes right. Shot no good, fight for the board, Trafford has it, and an outlet to Franker. Cross court pass to Boise, Boise goes inside, and Dalton had a little bit of ball and a lot of body. Foul on Dalton, and I believe that's just his second. He tried going just straight up with it. And honestly, after watching the TDH media replay, didn't didn't look to have a whole lot of contact there. Andrew took definitely the worst of it on that fall. And they'll wipe up a little sweat there. 619 on the clock. In quarter number four. And from all of us at Cobbs Radio, I want to wish everybody a happy and safe New Year. My New Year's Eve plans, rest and recover. First free throw, no good. Second one coming, and it's in. 40 to 32. I was expecting Strapper to come out a little full court pressure there. They back it off though. Seeger, Mendel, Heinlein, Donnelly, Dalton, your five Ava Bears on the floor. Seeger looking for a teammate, finds Donnelly. Donnelly over to Dalton. The Heinlein, right side of the floor. Seeger with it now. Seeger, he'll try driving baseline. Bounce pass to Mendel. You see, though, game by game, Spencer Seeger getting more comfortable with the speed of the game at the varsity level. And there, and Heinlein throws it too far for the hands of Donnelly. Out of bounds. Big doctor's appointment in the morning there for the younger, Isaac Dalton. See where he's at with the right foot injury. Boise for three, and it's in, and timeout. Trafford making a run, but on a 7-0 run, it's a five-point game. 5.33 to play, Ava 40, Trafford 35. Did you know there's a place where you can get good neighbor service and surprisingly great rates on home and auto insurance? Yep, and that place is State Farm. Here's the deal. State Farm agent David Cody is your go-to agent in cause country for the service you deserve at the price you want. So stop shopping around. State Farm agent David Cody has you covered. Call 683-4141 for your surprisingly great rates today. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Turn around, look over my right shoulder. Got a good amount of Ava Bear fans here that have well, we've been burning up the road this week getting back home around midnight it seems like every night see a lot of the young kids too see some kids Thomas's age here that was one of my favorite times growing up coming with the parents for the blue and gold tournament watching Ava good to see a lot of those youngsters in here no school still this week so we're, we're up past bedtime I'm not sure if Joe Corn's got to listen to a full broadcast all week. We've been up so late. Here on God's Radio. Ava needing a bucket again. Trafford a 7-0 run to tighten things up here. 5-10 left of the fourth, and there is a turnover. Miscommunication there between Donnelly and Dalton. Boise. He'll dribble over to Sinnoh. This young Cody Boise, he has 
He's a freshman, and boy, has he provided a spark for Stratford in the fourth quarter. Hunt is blocked by Heinlein. Goes back to Boise. He goes baseline. Quick ball movement, and they throw it away in front of the Stratford bench. Turnover there. Gives it back to the Bears. Boy, a bucket there would have got the Stratford fans fired up. 440 on the clock. Mendel. Drive up left, now back it back out. Goes over to the right side. Pass to Seeger in the corner. Boy, Andrews wanting it. And Boise, got two Boises out there, Avery and Cody. Avery, the older one, he's a senior. Cody, a freshman. And it's foul's going to be on Avery, his third, but it's the 17th foul on Strafford. So one and one free throws for Andrews. And up and in. One more coming. <laughs> got it to go. I've got him with 28 here in the fifth place game. 42-35, Bears up by seven. Boise trying to go baseline there on Mendel. Mendel goes down, no call either way. Breaker lost the handle. He goes in the right corner to Hunt. Hunt circles around, resets it up top with Soden into the high post, Boise. And Mendel is knocked down and an offensive foul called. And Avery Boise thinking it's Swamp City. And Blaine Mendel. I mean, it looks like the off arm there throws into Mendel, running him over. We'll go the other way with it. Ethan Donley coming down the timeline with it. Bounce pass up ahead to Mendel. Blaine looking for somebody. Finds Ethan Donley. Dalton thought about the three. Over to Mendel, now to Donley. Coach Seeger wants a timeout. Let's take one, too. We got 3.37 left. Ava Bears 42, Stratford 35. Hi, folks. This is Jay Loveland and Jay Loveland Auto Sales. I'd like to invite you all to our new setup in Mountain Grove. We have a great inventory of affordable cars, trucks, and SUVs conveniently located right next to Walmart and Burger King. Find us also online at jlovelandautosales.com or 417-349-4444. And remember, at J. Loveland Auto Sales, we always do the right thing. Whether it's personal injury, car accidents, criminal defense, and no matter if the case is large or small, Christopher J. Swadish, attorney at law, would be honored to represent you. You can visit with the AVA office, 200 East Washington, or you can call 683 683- 2987 or even visit the website www.swadish.com and from all of us at the law offices of Christopher J. Swadish, we want to wish good luck to the Ava Bears. Ava Bears trying to take home some trophy hardware for the second year in a row here at the Blue and Gold Tournament. 76 years they've been gathering here in downtown Springfield. We begin with 32 teams when we start the week. We were down to 16 today. Had two consolation games, two fifth place games, two third place games, and two title games going on here. Nine line to inbound for the Bears. Bounce pass to Mendel, cut to the basket, shot up and in. That's just the fifth and sixth point for the Bears here in this final quarter. Boise trying to heat check, and it's no good. Out of bounds, and the officials will say Strafford has it. 44-35, we got 3.22 left. Remember, stay with us here after the game. We'll talk to Coach Seeger. Turn around, hook shot from Boise is in. 44-37. And timeout 
But do they get it in time? Now these two officials are going to talk, and they're going to see that did we turn it over, or did we have a timeout call first? And they get the timeout. That's a big call. Trafford not very happy with that at all. We'll take a timeout. 3-11 left. 44-37, Avon top. Always have been and always will be Big Ava Bear sports fans at Crystal Lake Fisheries. Like the proud tradition of Ava Athletics, we're proud of our history too. Established in 1951, and there are now five generations of fish feeders in the Emerson family. From all of us here at Crystal Lake Fisheries, good luck to the Ava Bears. <laughs> Well, we may have got away with one right there. When it comes to uh, did we turn it over along the baseline before the timeout? Well, I'm not going to apologize for it. 3-11 left here. As Ava trying to finish off this fifth place game here in the gold division. Seagull inbound, and now the full court pressure being deployed here by Strafford. Inbound goes to Blaine Mendel. Blaine across the timeline. Here comes the trap, and backcourt violation called. Now, Blaine, he is a veteran player, and he got that maroon bear right there at half court where it makes it a little difficult to see the line. And boy, his foot looked on the line. As I look at the TDH Media Replay, that should not have been backcourt. Tough call there. Boise. I was going to say, the senior there in Blaine, hard to imagine him going backcourt. And then Boise makes it off the glass. The Boise brothers, I assume they're related, bringing the Indians back. Timeout, 2.45 to play. Ava 44, Strafford 39. It's Five Girls in a Chainsaw, LLC, your locally owned tree trimming and removal service. Do you have limbs down in your yard from storm damage? Well, we can help. We're fully insured, and there is no job that's too large or small. Give Billy a call at 683-0704. It's Five Girls in a Chainsaw, and we sell firewood, too. 417-683-0704. Five Girls in a Chainsaw, LLC. Hey, folks. Blake Miller here. At Stockman's Bank, our team takes pride in building relationships with our customers with a commitment to customer service and making you our number one priority. We continue to make decisions locally in the communities we serve and support because we believe that's the heart of community banking. We also welcome new customers and are excited to show you the service our customers have come to know and trust. We are grateful to be in this community. Stockman's Bank, proud past, exciting future, member FDIC and equal housing lender. Five point lead. Now, folks right there, that was just the basketball gods correcting stuff. Because we got away with a turnover there around the baseline, in my opinion. And there, Blaine Mendel called for backcourt and definitely was not a backcourt violation. But boy, big turn of events there. And it's a five-point game, 44-39. Mendel crosses the timeline, gets through the pressure. Dalton with it. He's got 28. In the game, he's been sensational. Kind of a quiet fourth quarter, though. Just four points in the quarter. Most of his work coming in the second and third. And first. Andrew catches and holds. 2.16 on the clock. Hunt guarding him. Man-to-man defense from Strafford. Get it to Mendel. Mendel being guarded by the freshman Boise, and then he fouls him, and that'll send Blaine to the free throw line for a one-and-one. Got to take care of business at the line. Fourth foul there on the young Boise. Blaine Mendel. Free throw up and in. Good job, Blaine.
Next one in. Ava has done fantastic in this ball game tonight. Shoot free throw. Boise has it. And he must be the talented freshman I was hearing about at the Stratford tournament. They talked about it as the season went on. He was going to get more varsity minutes because he's been pretty impressive in minutes here. Look at the dribble handle. Takes it inside and scores. My goodness. Check his birth certificate. How's this kid a freshman? 46-41. Mendel. Into the front court now. Hands it off Ethan Donnelly. Ethan dribbles towards the center. Over to Dalton. Hunt guarding him. Now to Donnelly. 46-41, and goes to Mendel. Little contact there, no call. That'd have been the fifth foul on Boise. Andrew with it. We got 116 on the clock. Double team tries to come. Andrew dribbles out of it. Back to Mendel. Ava playing keep away here. Clock is their friend since they got the five-point lead. So oh, Andrew's caught up in there, but finds Mendel. Now bounce pass down low to Seeger. Seeger, how about the freshman, Mr. Seeger, has first bucket of the game. A big one, 48-41. Three-pointer from Trafford, no good. Ava fights for it. Mendel comes down with it. Blaine gets it wrestled back, and Coach Seeger calls a timeout. 42 seconds left. Ava, 48, Trafford, 41. It's A1 Detailing Enterprises, offering complete detail, interior, exterior, headlight restoration, vinyl removal, and shampooing. The next generation car care, A1 Detailing Enterprises. Give Wyatt Gastineau a call, 417-543-8739. That's 417-543-8739. And let him and the A1 Detailing Enterprise take care of you. Always have been and always will be big Ava Bear sports fans at Crystal Lake Fisheries. Like the proud tradition of Ava Athletics, we're proud of our history too. Established in 1951, and there are now five generations of fish feeders in the Emerson family. From all of us here at Crystal Lake Fisheries, good luck to the Ava Bears. It has been a physical and mental grind this week. Here from Springfield, Missouri, Ava trying to hang on and take home a trophy. Back-to-back -back years here at Springfield. That would put them with an 11-1 record going into there. The second half of the season. And not a bad week. You can win three games in four days with victories over Stockton, Rogersville, and Stratford. A lot of folks would take that. Not everybody playing here on day four. Half the field is not. And a whistle. And it'll be going to the free throw line, Ethan Donnelly. Again, great Southern Bank post-game show. We will have Coach Damon Seeger with us eventually. At the conclusion of the game, I'll just sell it out for you here. If we start with a post-game wrap, it's going to sound like we're going away, but we're not. Hang with us, and we'll get to talk to Coach Seeger eventually. Made the first. Or excuse me, missed them both there. 48-41. Here's Trapper. They got to go quick, and that's got to be an offensive foul as Mendel got run over by Hunt. 33 seconds left. And Ava can feel it now. Simple checking in. Trafford puts three-point shooters on the floor. Seager to inbound. Gets it to Andrew. Andrew gets across, and then he is grabbed from behind and fouled. And a chance for Andrew to get to the big 3-0. Two free throws coming. Andrew has over 100 points 
in four games this week. And he makes the first. Pretty good four-day run for Dalton. He's on the cover of your blue and gold program. And makes it. How about 30 for Dalton? 108 points by my unofficial count this week. 50 to 41. Boise, Cody, the freshman, knocked down another three. This kid has 12 points in the fourth quarter alone. Timeout, 24 seconds left. Ava 50, Stratford 44. Has your home been a victim of storm damage? Call Pyramid Roofing Company for free estimates. 417-943-4011. re roof roof repairs, new roof, skylights, shingles, gutters and downspouts, ventilation, and more. When bad storms leave damage to your home, think Pyramid Roofing Company, 417-943-4011. From tax help to payroll to counseling advice when it comes to dealing with your money, it's a conversation for Paul Wade and Associates, offices in Ava, Paul Wade and Associates, your certified public accountants. Call us at 683-2319. 683-2319 for Paul Way and Associates. I tell you what, I'll keep saying this as long as we've got basketball games to play. Generational athlete, Andrew Dalton. And I tell you what, him and Blaine Mendel, they have been so fun to watch since they were freshmen playing out here. Folks, I don't know how many home games we got left, but you need to get to them. And watch these dudes in action. Cherish it. Ava handles the pressure over to Donnelly. They will foul Ethan, and he'll go to the free throw line. Now, something I noticed midway through the fourth quarter, and I was way too afraid to mention anything about it, Tyson, Cooper, and I, we, we believe very strongly in the announcer's jinx. But up until I'm putting poor Ethan on blast, my book, he had the first two free throw misses of the night for Ava. Makes that one. I've got Ava 17 out of 19 from the free throw line in this game. He makes both of those. 12.8 seconds left. 52-44. Goes to Cody Boise. Over to Soden. Six seconds left. Boise, another three. And he got that one. <laughs> wow. Sometimes you just shake your head and say, wow. Timeout, three seconds left. We'll take one more. Ava, 52. Stratford, 47. Get a great deal on versatile Kubota equipment today, including Kubota L01 Series compact tractor as part of our under 100 horsepower tractor lineup rated number one for reliability. Z Series mowers and sidekick utility vehicles. Stop by your local Kubota dealer today. Right now, bring home select Kubota equipment for zero down, zero percent APR for up to 84 months, plus save up to $1,400. Now through December 31st. See us or go to KubotaUSA.com for more details. Your local Kubota dealer, Edgler & Harper Farm Equipment. Two names you can trust, Edgler & Harper and Kubota. If you're looking for ways to save, we got discounts every day. Oh, vegetable tray with dip 37, ounce 5 dollars Down in Country Supermarket, Ava, Missouri. How about Best Choice Ice Cream, 2 for $5. And Jack's Frozen Pizza, 4 for $10. Down in Country, Ava, Missouri. We've got every day. This young freshman for Stratford not letting this game go away easily. He's got 15 points alone in the fourth quarter. Inbounds goes to Dalton. He is fouled immediately. And he gets a chance to add here to his scoring total this week. Now I'm going to be forced to scramble and go through scoring results here. And we've got Bowden coming out. 
Andrew Dalton there. Or a couple. <laughs> Up and in. 31 by my count, and folks, they've got their own deal in here. Players averaging 25 or more points a game in a tournament. I think Dalton's going to have his name added to that list forever. He makes them both. I've got him for 32 tonight. 54-47, Trafford final shot, no good. Ava takes home the fifth place trophy. Nice win over Strafford. Good back-to-back -back night. Bounce backs after their first loss of the season against Republic. Wins over Rogersville and Strafford. Off final. Ava 54, Strafford 47. And we got great Southern Bank post-game show up next. At Rick's Roofing, we have expanded our business. We are now dozing for timber and other excavating work. Skid steer work, some brush hogging, brush mulching. Also, helping you build your driveway, building houses or shop pads. Backhoe work, septic work, and dump truck gravel hauling. Free quotes. And, of course, we're still taking care of your roofing needs, too. 683-8081. That's 683-8081 for Rick Roofing, LLC. The best selections of appliances and home furnishings. It's long dollar furniture and appliances. Great prices on top brands. Long dollar furniture appliance, whether it's your kitchen, laundry room, bedroom, living room, long dollar furniture and appliance, 683-3424. That's 683-3424, long dollar furniture and appliance. Hello, Bear fans. This is Garrett Chapman at Century Bank of the Ozarks. At Century Bank, we are a true community bank for your way of life. Since 1894, Century Bank of the Ozarks has maintained its reputation of friendly service and quick local decision making. Stop in and let our friendly staff introduce you to our outstanding banking products and services. Banking decisions made at the local level right here at home. That's Century Bank of the Ozarks, member FDIC, equal housing lender. Ava Bears winning 54-47. You can take a look there on our KKOB Facebook page of them getting the fifth place trophy. The illustrious 100 Point Club. They've got their own section in the program of this. Players, athletes who have scored 100 or more points in a four-game stretch. And Andrew Dalton will be a part of that now as he eclipses 100 points, and he's actually going to be on the top half of this thing. Now, I have him unofficially throughout the week at 112 points, and that's good for the top half of people you've got in there. Of course, Aminu Muhammad of Springfield Greenwood, he's got the record there from 2019, scoring 155. But uh, Andrew Dalton, a part of the 100-point club for his efforts here in four games, through this blue and gold tournament. What we're going to do, Ava's in the locker room talking right now, by the way, it's your great Southern Bank post-game show. We'll take a break. We'll do the post-game wrap, and then we will wait on Coach Damon Seeger. Final here from Hammond Student Center. Ava 54, Trafford 47.